Hello people, my name is Jai Sony and this is my review video of HTC One E9S. So hardware and design wise this phone looks exactly like uh, uh, HTC Desire A20 or A20S. But uh, instead of a glossy back, it has matte finish which is good because uh, that makes it uh, very scratch resistant and smudge proof. It's pretty slim. It's uh, 7.6 millimeter thick and it weighs around 165 gram. This phone runs on uh, Android version 5.0.2 with uh, heavily customized STC Sense UI on top of it and the version of it is 7.0 as you can see here and this is the notification area of this phone Full of options as you can see and in the settings uh, one very good thing about its dual sim management is that it doesn't restart every time you insert or remove a sim card so that's a very good thing and it is a 4g phone as you can see other than that uh, in the settings area you will find your stc boom sound uh, stereo speaker settings it has two options uh, first is music mode and second is theater mode these are for these speakers these settings change uh, when you connect headphones which i will show you when i will show you the music player in the app settings well uh, you can move apps to sd card on this phone as you can see it has the option of move and it also has power saving settings as you can see if you want the battery to last longer you can turn this on the phone's ui is pretty snappy and smooth it doesn't lag most of the time this is the home screen of stc sense ui and uh, this is the blink feed which you can turn off or remove like this if you don't use it it's pretty useless anyway it's just like a lot of tiles of news from around the world using your data unnecessarily but anyway now i usually remove uh, uh, most of the junk from my home screen uh, like widgets but this small little dyna dynamic box is pretty useful that why i didn't remove it and how is it useful well it's got three options or three set of different uh, app for different occasions like when you are outside or when you are at home or when you are at work you can select and remove applications according to your liking and th this like a this is like a quick toggle between the most used apps without going into the main uh, app drawer and this suggestions folder well this is like a small uh, you can say advertisement from HTC as you cannot remove this folder and it recommends you these apps automatically whenever you connect the phone to the internet and you cannot remove it as you can see you can make it bigger if you want but you cannot make it smaller than this it's also got themes which you can download from the uh, HTC store i guess these are all free but uh, it requires it requires an stc account to download as you can see if you have that you can download anything you want for free and also wallpapers if you want or sound icons font whatever you want and like i showed in my unboxing video this phone does not support usb otg as you can see it's not recognizing the pen drive and just to make sure that there is no doubt i will also use uh, the cable so that there will be no doubt because sometimes some phones doesn't recognize pen drives like this but as you can see it's not recognizing the cable and the pen drive too 
and there's no option here for toggle to make it uh, recognize the pen drive so the phone does not support usb otg this phone's back camera is nothing special actually although it is an bsi sensor which means a backside illuminated sensor but still it picks up it doesn't pick up that much light as you can see and uh, its camera also doesn't not doesn't pick up uh, the right color saturation for the image for example as you can see this is a very light color in this camera or video but uh, look at this image it doesn't look like this at all it looks very dark in this image so the color reproduction of this camera is not very accurate apart from that here are all your options this phone has uh, auto focus and touch to focus both by the way and you can also record videos and photos simultaneously this is the auto option and uh, this is uh, this is the auto option this is the manual option you can choose whichever you want and it goes up to 1600 iso this is the video recording and uh, for 20,000 rupees, uh, this phone support uh, slow motion video. So that's something good. And it records full HD video, by the way. And here are your rest of the settings. Some camera options, continuous shooting, resolution, general settings, volume button options. Now this is the selfie camera of this phone and uh, it has this slider to make your photo smooth as much as possible. See right now this room is, this is a very well lit room by the way. There is a lot of uh, natural light currently in the room but and yet, and yet this phone took an uh, image this dark. I don't know the reason of that but uh, that's not good and nobody honestly like a uh, front camera or selfie camera that takes dark photo overall uh, and the camera quality of this phone is I would say decent talking about its back camera quality by the way I don't want to call it bad but it's not that good either it's it's just decent really compared to other phones uh, in this range or around or uh, in this range like the xperia c4 and this phone's back camera is really not that good now for multimedia options well uh, this phone comes with HTC sense music player this is that is and as far as its boom sound speakers quality goes here's how they sound It has two options for the speakers, a music mode and theater mode, but there's not that much difference between uh, both the modes. You won't notice it that much. In headphones though, in headphones, you will notice the difference. In headphones, uh, this phone's music quality for a mid-range phone is uh, pretty good. And here are all your headphones options. As you can see HTC in-ear, HTC earbuds, or HTC other you can choose HTC Pro Studio it won't really you don't really need an HTC branded earphones for these options to work and uh, 
and one thing about its uh, music player is that it does not have any music settings in the music player itself and also there is no equalizer equalizer is disabled in this phone it's also disabled in the google play music as you can see there is no option of uh, equalizer in the settings of google play music but then again by default this phone's music quality and sound quality is already very good its speakers are also very good they are uh, loud enough and uh, apart from loudness the actual quality of the speakers like uh, uh, the clarity and depth of the speakers is very good when it comes to video playback well by default it can play 1080p videos just fine without any problems but it cannot play 4k resolution videos at all in its default video player as you can see here's the 1080p video and the quality is also very good the uh, the color saturation of this phone is green is very good and hence the video look videos look very good on this phone you can try to play 4k resolution video in mx player but it will play something like this see it's very choppy and it's stuttering and it's dropping the audios and it's dropping the audio frequently so it's useless to try and watch 4k video on this phone besides you can text back to 20 thousand rupees phone to play a 4k resolution video anyway now let's check the browser let's go to our website at domatic as you can see the browser is working fine and fast without any stuttering or so that also depends on your internet connection speed by the way currently my internet is working fine thankfully well thanks to this call that i have just got i can show you what its caller id looks like as you can see it looks like this you can decline or answer from here and also you can see that it's got a very tiny little uh, notification light right here it's very very small hardly even visible hello people my name is just in browser video is also working without any issues although the page is not loaded properly for some reason i guess i jinxed it when i said my internet is working fine today oh well anyway there's the full desktop site of yahoo.com and uh, pink to zoom is working without any stuttering or so in fact extremely smooth without a hint of stutter or lag all thanks to it and one thing i want to tell you that according to antutu this phone does not have gyro sensor but as a matter of fact it does it does as you can see it even has a separate calibration option for it now that raises question on antutu i don't even know how many times it has been wrong about uh, the lack of gyros in the phone because most of the time it always uh, say that the phone does not have the gyro sensor i've been using the phone uh, for uh, close to an hour now with Wi-Fi on and uh, 2G network so you can call this a normal use and on normal use I started at around 96% of battery and the temperature of the battery is currently 7 the current level is 76% and the temperature is 41 degrees celsius so on normal use i can say that this phone doesn't get that much hot 
and it loses 20% of battery in an hour of time on moderate or normal use and also by the way uh, the brightness was at full all the time if you want more battery life you can always use the power options in its setting area you can always use the power saving options in the settings area now to conclude this video and uh, this price segment currently is very competitive right now there are a lot of phones available which are more powerful than this there are uh, a, a couple of phones from Mizu I guess or and uh, OnePlus there's OnePlus 1, there's OnePlus 2 there's Sony Xperia C4, Sony Xperia C5, Ultra and then there's HTC's own 820 and 820s there's HTC's own Lizard 820 and 820s and then there's Samsung's some phone you can get you can even get the old flagship like Samsung Galaxy S5 or around this price range currently apart from companies like Samsung and Sony most of the phones aren't even available to buy in stores for the people so that's a, a very big uh, deciding factor for a lot of people in India so all in all I must say for 20,000 rupees it is a bad phone now that's about it for this review video if you have any questions regarding this phone you can ask me in the comment section below and thanks for watching